We just went over a lot of information, I know, but the best way to make sure that you actually got it down in your brain is by practicing everything out. So the first step is we're gonna write out exactly the number of electrons, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So I don't remember how you did this. You just put like the seven and then plus three. Good. Okay. These are all going to be 10, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> just put me out of my misery. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. This is why we check. We check if this is going to be <laughs> isoelectronic because that could have been a question. Like, hey, you know, what? how would you describe these? Right. Okay, so the next step is going to be to immediately start looking, well, hold on, it wants it in increasing. So we're gonna first start looking at the cations. Good. To do this first. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'll just draw my little thing, smallest to largest. Okay, so the cations are, The ones with the pluses. So. Good. And which ones are the smallest? <laughs> this is like what you had written down before, right? <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah. Um, it's like opposite of what you would, any normal human being would think of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, but how opposite are we talking here? <laughs> okay, because like my brain naturally thinks the opposite, so it's the opposite of what I think. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. oh my god, this is literally me when I take a test. Um, okay, so I feel like it's gonna not be like this one would be the smallest. Good, correct. Why? Okay. Because it's actually had got the three plus, and that's the largest, but it's opposite of what we would Exactly. Think. Exactly. Good. The larger positive value or larger cation would be the smallest. Good. Perfect. Now we will move on to the anions. And this one is how we would think. So, correct. We're going to do. Good. Perfect. That's it. Okay. So that's good to know. So what was that that you said to remember about the cations, just so that I can write it down? Yeah. The the so, larger the cation or the larger the positive um, charge, the smaller it is. Okay. Right. Okay. That's why that was all the way over there. Got it. Okay. Just want to make sure because that is something that will so confuse me. So <laughs> let's try the next one. Okay. This is still ionic radio, so there's me yes. nothing change. <laughs> <laughs> so CR4 plus. I gotta figure out where this is. Okay, got it. Is T I thallium? No, titanium. Okay, titanium. I was looking at T L. Okay. 
I didn't think that was right, but I was like, eh, you never know. <laughs> So now, since they're not all the same, I'm just going based off this number, right? That, and I would actually say, notice that they all have the same charge, right? Yes. So if they all have the same charge, look back at the periodic table. Where, like, do you see a, a pattern here? Um, here's... Oh. <laughs> they're all in the same column correct and what was the trend that we talked about <laughs> which one <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's if they're all in the same column um remember this goes this is this is hand in hand with atomic radius so it's gonna have the same trend moving from a column Oh, oh, okay. So it's increasing. So it's going to be go. just Perfect. going down, right? Yes, going down. Correct. Exactly. As we move down a column or down the column, it increases. Perfect. That's is it. this different than the atomic radius? Like, or is that the same trend? It's the same trend. Um, the only difference is that we do have to look at the size of like the ion, so it changes a little bit. Um, in this case, because they all have the same exact, you know, number like charge four plus, that's why we, we now refer to, hey, let's just look at the trend on the column. Um, but if we're comparing like what we did before, everything had several different types of ions, that's where we have to just focus on what the ion is. Okay, but technically this followed like that one, that one, and then that Correct, one anyway. It did. Correct. So would yeah. that not always happen? Like, so it should will. I? Okay. Because I wasn't sure if I should always go look at like the trend on the periodic right. table or if I right. should just do the electron thing. I would say it would also kind of just depend on what you remember on the exam. So if you see that everything is, hey, let, all of this has the same charge. Let me see if they're in the same column. Boom. Okay. Yes. I know the trend. But um and if you forgot that for, you know, then, okay, I started off writing all the electrons. I can tell which one is greater, which one is smaller Then yes, the trend's going to work. It, it is going to still work because we are okay. looking at the electrons. Yeah. So they both kind of work. Okay. Down. Yeah, it will. Because as you're moving down a column, the number of electrons are increasing um, as are the protons. Yeah. And the last one. Okay. Um... So, good. Okay, so now. Oh, so, okay, hold on. I have a question. So yes. how do we know whether we're going to look at, like, we get to this point, we see that they're the same. Am mm -hmm. I going to use the rule about cations and anions to decide where they go? Or am I going to use the trend on the periodic table? So first, are they on the same column? Um, no. No, they don't have the same charge either. So that's why, no, I can't use the trend. So because they're two completely okay. different like charges, then yes, I have to use that cation and anion rule. So the trend is only for if they are the, the same, same charge and on the same column. Okay, good to know. Got it. So I'm going to have to go look at my little thing over here. Yes. <laughs> All right, yes. And we know that anions are the largest. 
-hmm. So therefore, wait. Okay, so iodine, right? Correct. Good. Okay. Yay. Um, For this one, I don't even want you to bother writing the, the number of electrons. Can you just tell which one oh. would be larger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the larger one... Wait, is this another trick? Because I know that they're the same, but this one has... Oh, so it's going to be this one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So whenever you have the same element, um, but just different charges, then, okay, we go back to the rule, and you don't have to write any electrons out. It's literally just referring back to the rule. Okay, good. Cool. Good. See, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> We went over a good amount of information and I hope that you wrote things down. If you feel like you're forgetting things, maybe you're not taking the best notes. So I'd say start there, jot things down, take notes, highlight it, and actually reread your notes. That's really going to help you succeed in this class.